Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Del C. Corpus from Grade 11 CSS Transparency. Have you ever noticed how a beam of sunlight passing through a smoky room reveals tiny particles dancing in the light? This mesmerizing insight is a result of something called the Tyndall effect. The Tyndall effect is a scattering of light as it passes through a colloid, a mixture of where tiny particles are suspended in liquid or gas. It's named after the 19th century scientist John Tyndall who first studied this phenomenon. To see the Tyndall effect in action, let's take a simple experiment. Here we have two glasses of water. One just a plain water, while the other has a drop of milk added. Shine a flashlight through the plain water, the light passes straight through without much scattering. But in a glass with a drop of milk, the tiny particles scattering the light making the beam visible from the side. This scattering of the light is the Tyndall effect. The Tyndall effect isn't just a limit to liquid, it's also responsible for some of the colors we see in the sky. During the day, the blue light from sun is scattered by particles in the atmosphere, giving us a blue sky. As the sun set, the light had to pass through more of the atmosphere, scattering more of the shorter blue wavelengths and leaving the longer red and orange wavelengths, giving us those beautiful sunset colors. You might also notice the Tyndall effect on a dusty day. Sunlight seemed to spread out and become more visible as a beams of light passing through the windows or holes. The tiny dust particles in the air scattered the light, making the beams more pronounced. The Tyndall effect is a fascinating phenomenon that helps us understand how light interacts with particles around us, whether in a glass of water, in the sky, or in a simple beam of sunlight. So the next time you see the sunlight streaming through a window or notice the colors of a sunset, remember that you're witnessing the beauty of science at work thanks to the Tyndall effect.